Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to talk about an art application that can create logos, application icons, and buttons very quickly and easily. Now I only discovered uh, this particular application called Art Text 2 and it's made by Belight Software this year. But after I used it, I found it to be seamless. It's so easy to use. You could design a logo or even just a header for a brochure or even a simple application icon in, in a like literally in a few minutes and you don't really have to be a designer uh, to be able to do it so if you're a developer and you need an app icon or if you're doing FileMaker databases and you want to make buttons for that it'll work for that logos brochure headers anything so let's get started and show you how this thing works um, and don't forget I'll leave a, a little link so that you'll be able to download it from the App Store so uh, once you download it, you'll see this is the application icon here. Uh, if you're if it's already in your applications folder uh, because you downloaded it from the App Store, that's fine. If you go right to the BeLight website and you download the free copy, uh, you can just drag it into your applications folder to install and then open it up. So once you have it opened up, and I do over here, let's just show you. Uh, it'll start off by opening up to this window. Once it opens to this window. Uh, you could actually close it and just go to File Template Gallery. Here is where you can actually choose a pre-template for you to use, and it has all these different elements uh, that you can use. And some of them are buttons, some of them are logos. We're going to pick a logo and actually redo it. So I'm going to pick this logo here called Gold. I'm going to click Choose, and it's going to open up. Now, as you can see, um, the choices of the different colors are right here so if I wanted to make it uh, pink or orange and there's quite a few blue let's say and then if you go down to this window over here you see the word gold you click on it you actually just can retype it so if I wanted to type Mac that's all there is to it and then I close it and boom I have a logo now to export this once you're finished with it all you would have to do is go down here and you could either bring it to the clipboard and use it to kind of paste into uh, Word or Adobe InDesign or Photoshop or you can share it and they have all of these opportunities to share it uh, into your photos, put it in your messages, um, use it on Twitter or Facebook. And over here, you can also save it as a file that you can actually edit and place into various documents. So if you're wanting to know how I do the file maker, I usually just uh, save it to a file and then I drag the file uh, right into file maker by inserting it. Um, if you could use this also for your web pages. Um, if you're using it for design element, you could make it as a clipboard item or you can make it as a file, it's up to you. Now besides having these different items over here, it also has um, a couple of items here. So you can change the texture. So you can switch around textures here. And also you can just do it with a color. So there's lots of options that you can do. And uh, I have to say that the gold one looks pretty awesome. I like that one. There's also different styles. So let's say uh, you like something in this area. Uh, let's pick this one, which says pink. And if you double click on that and we type the word Mac tips, you can fit it in there. Now, at this point, uh, they have kerning. They have line spacing here. You have additional shapes, icons. So a whole bunch of things that you can do here. You can customize something yourself. So they have that area as well. And let's take a look at what do you do if things are oversized, right? So as you can see over here, you have this to kind of bring down just kind of the overall page size so that you can see where you can drag this in to make it a little bit smaller so we can see it on the screen. So that's pretty cool. Now let's say you wanted to have this on two lines you would just hit return and that would place it on two lines and then you would just close this window here and now you can kind of stretch it out any way you see fit so once you have it here and you switch to this uh, they'll actually change what you've typed in there so you'd have to retype it but there's so many if you want to make a button or an icon uh, for your application. You can do it right from here, but they have a lot of predefined things. So for example, here in Coffee Club, let's try the Mac tips right there. We're gonna type Mac tips. And as you can see, 
it just keeps the elements. Now you can edit the shape if you want or stretch it out depending on what your needs are, but you can do these things really, really quickly. Um, I like uh, this particular one, very artistic, right? If I wanted to type the word Mac here, it could look really, really cool. And uh, don't worry about the sizing. All you have to do is drag that down uh, to get it bigger, or you can change the size of the actual box. I like to pick uh, inches over here, and you can do, let's say, 10 by 10, and that would give you a larger size to also work within uh, to be able to do things. So I think this is an incredible software. It's so easy to use. Once you're done with it, again, you just go export, and that's it. It's a really easy application to use. I hope you enjoyed this tip. Try out the free application if you like it, buy the full version. But in the meantime, have fun making logos. Thanks for listening.